Today, I have the honor of present our special guest, who is an exceptional woman that I have the luck to meet here in New York. We are here together now, and you know, um, she's so open and so giving. And I'm talking as a person, and I'm going to talk a little bit about her career. Uh, Embaixadora uh, Maria Nazaria Farani Azevedo. She's a career diplomat with an extensive experience in promoting Brazil's interests before a number of international organizations. She has, she has a wonderful career, and today she is the Council General of Brazil in New York. During her career, she has held several important positions in Geneva, Montevideo, Washington, and Brazil, including permanent representative of Brazil to the United Nations and other international organizations in Geneva. Council General of Brazil in Geneva and Chief of Staff at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Brazil. So I want you all to welcome Maria Nazaré, Lele, Ambassador, please. And first and foremost, let me let me thank all of you for this kind invitation for me to be here today among old friends and new friends. <clears throat> As Simone uh, put it, it's very nice to be here in person without mask and safe. So um, <clears throat> thank you very much for inviting me. I'm very, very happy. Um, Madam President of the Chamber, dear members and friends, it is an honor for me to participate for the first time in the annual membership luncheon of the Brazilian American Chamber of Commerce. Since my arrival in New York almost a year ago, I have benefited tremendously from the long-standing partnership between the Chamber and the Brazilian Consulate in New York. I am particularly grateful for the warm and generous welcome this Chamber has extended to me. A special word of thanks to Simone, José Roberto de Azevedo, Ricardo Lima, John Welsh, here you are, uh, who have been my guardian angels and closest partners in the chamber since my arrival. Thank you so very much. Despite all challenges and difficulties that the COVID-19 pandemic brought us, the chamber has been a very close and consistent partner of the consulate in New York. Through events, activities, and meetings, the chamber and the consulate have worked together to promote trade, investment, and tourism between Brazil and the US. We have also supported Brazilian artists and culture in the city. We have brought Brazilians and Americans together, even closer together. Dear members of the chamber, this is the first time that a woman leads the chamber in its history. Yes. I would like to commend you, Simone, for your efforts to strengthen the philanthropic arm of this chamber and also for bringing it closer to the large and hardworking immigrant Brazilian community in New York. This is very, very, very important. So, dear friends, the Brazilian consulate in New York has long-term goals. We strive to provide excellent, friendly, and efficient consular services to the estimated 500,000 Brazilians living in the area of our jurisdiction, New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Oh, and the Bermudas. I must visit my community. <laughs> <laughs> and the nearly one million Brazilians, tourists, that visit the city every year. Promoting trade, business, investments is very much part of what the consulate does on a daily basis. We provide technical support and business information to Brazilian exporters, we work in close partnership with uh, Brazilian institutions and ministries in order to promote Brazilian goods and services. Throughout the year, we will, we will organize and support the Brazilian participation in several trade shows, roundtables, one-on-one -on -one meetings related to furniture, design, 
old-fashioned coffee, cachaça, wine, chocolate, specialty foods, and many, many more things. Education is among our priorities. We focus on promoting Portuguese to young Brazilians in our community. During the pandemic, we held the very first Portuguese Olympics with the participation of Brazilian children from 8 to 15 years old. And we are preparing a second one for 2022. In partnership with the Legião de Boa Vontade, Legion of Goodwill, we are finalizing a series of nine videos. We want to revel with the Netflix. We are on our way. <laughs> to provide an additional tool to teach Portuguese at home. It will be a, a very accessible and user-friendly, and we believe that it will be important, an important platform for working parents to teach Portuguese at the comfort of their homes. All you want to need is a telephone or a computer. During these trying times, the increase of domestic support, or the domestic, I'm sorry, domestic violence in New York and all over the world called our attention. The consulate took many steps to help victims and survivors of domestic violence and gender-based violence. Among many initiatives, we created Linha Direta, a dedicated telephone hotline to assist victims. The consulate also supports and promotes the Sinal Vermelho campaign. This campaign has been very successful in Brazil and has already reached around 10 million people and helped women to report and denounce cases of domestic violence. Financial independence is an enabler for victims of domestic violence. We have used our social media and other platforms to promote videos, programs, courses to empower women. These videos and courses are produced by the Brazilian Ministry of Women, Family and Human Rights and by the City of New York. We want to empower women to do their, to carry on their own business. 2022 will also be a year of presidential elections in Brazil. The consulate has already started preparations and we are confident that the holding of the presidential elections in New York will be very successful. 2022 started with some turbulent events. Simone has referred to them that are taking the lives of many, many people and have the potential of affecting the economy and the lives of many more million people elsewhere, including in Brazil and in the United States. Let us hope that peace is achieved in the shortest period of time. This is very important. Dear friends, the Consulate of Brazil is at your disposal, at the disposal of this chamber. Our doors are permanently open. We are ready to deepen and increase the partnership with the Chamber in all areas, from culture, education, and philanthropy to trade, investment, and tourism, to the benefit of Brazil in general and the Brazilian community in particular. So I wish you an enjoyable annual um, membership lunch on and every success to the newly elected and re-elected members of the Brazilian Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so very much. We know how to deal with challenges. We have been through many crises together, many difficult times together, and I think to have such an ambassador in front of, you know, the consulate here and bringing all these projects, it will benefit a lot the Brazilian community, and our goal is to work together to really straight and strength the relationship between U.S. and Brazil. So without further ado, I would like to thank you everybody for being here. Good morning. The rest of the directors, thank you for coming today. And also we'll be closing the luncheon. And please stick around for a little while. Join us at the boardroom. Thank you very much.